Hello. How are you doing? I'm going to help you fall asleep today. And in order to fall asleep, there's really not much you need to do. Because it's not an act of doing. It's an act of non-doing. But before we uh, get into this tarot meditation, I'd like to ask you to check your posture, your the position that you're laying in. I'm assuming you're laying down in bed, but if you're just sitting down, even, please check the amount of unnecessary tension that is in your body, because sometimes, without even noticing, we can clench our jaw or strain our muscles almost at an unconscious level almost without noticing and you know that is a big part of why we're finding it hard to fall asleep but if you're taking this time while I'm shuffling to check in with yourself. It's going to make things a lot easier for both you and me. So I encourage you to just do that now. And also, take a couple of deep breaths. Just breathe in. And exhale with a sigh. Feel free to make a noise, a sound of any kind. Just enjoy the relief that you're getting from this simple act of letting go. It is really easy. Easy to speak to her subconscious mind. Do you know why? It's because the subconscious mind wants to listen. All you need to do is you need to find the right message, the right kinds of words to tell your subconscious. And once that happens, Your subconscious will want to listen. So let's see what the cards would like to tell your subconscious mind. Seven Swords. Let me tell you a story. Perhaps that's the best way for me to convey the message. By telling you a story about the Five Swords. That all of a sudden became seven. Because at the core of the seven of swords, there's the pain of the five of swords. The five of swords, which portrays betrayal and disappointment in human nature. Seven Swords have always been a symbol of letting yourself go. But 
not necessarily in the best way. When your mind and your consciousness are not focused on the things that align with your highest spiritual purpose, your body Your mind, your analytical mind, can find explanations as to why certain behaviors and certain situations are in your life are fine, okay, and acceptable. But in reality, your body is protesting. not accepting the situation. The Seven of Swords appears when we're trying to deceive ourselves. Let's have a sit down with yourself right now. I would like you to Visualize yourself knocking on the door right now. The door to your own house, your own apartment. And I would like your astral body to walk to the door and open it so that yourself and now come in. And now your two selves are meeting. Your inner selves meeting the external self. Why did you come here? You ask the external self. Well, I've come here because I have something to tell you. Why don't we take a seat here? Well, the internal self says, All right. Let's have a sit down. Let's talk. What do you need me to do? It's funny, says the external self, that you can tell that I'm asking you to do something. Have you been feeling like you haven't been doing the right thing lately? Like something is amiss? Yeah. Your internal self says, there is definitely something amiss. I'm not sure what it is, though. I'm trying to be a good person. You are, says the external self. I didn't mean to upset you like that. I don't think you're a bad person. But there's something you're hiding from yourself. An important piece of the puzzle. So, what is it that you're doing to distract yourself from what you really should be doing? I would like you to really ask yourself this in the most serious way. your two selves are sitting at this table and they are looking at each other. They're gazing into each other's eyes and all of a sudden 
A huge sense of clarity comes over both of them. Oh. So this is it. This is why I have been so tense lately. Thank you. Deep down, I've always known. I've always known. 